Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to another video. And today's all about the pineapple, guys. Mainly the house of Parfums Vintage. I have three of them from the line, and these are Pineapple Vintage Intense, the original Noir, and the newly released Noir Intense. So the question we're going to be answering today is, if you can only pick one of these three fragrances, which one is the better one? And towards the end, we're also going to be comparing these to the originator of all pineapple fragrances themselves. King Aventus and also compared to arguably the most popular clone, Club Duty Intense. Now without further ado, let's get right into the comparison of these three. Now if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know that I always compare the scent, performance, versatility, compliment factor, all those basic stuff. But for these, since they have very very similar uh, scent character, similar smell, I'm only going to be really comparing the scent. I'm going to touch on the other categories very lightly. So let's touch on those categories first. Performance. These all perform extremely, extremely well. Super similar performance. I get 8 hours at the minimum out of all these three solids. So performance, great. Versatility, as you can expect from scents that smell super close to Aventus. These are also very, very versatile, much like Aventus is a very versatile fragrance. So you can wear these pretty much anytime you want. It's a signature scent worthy type fragrances, much like Aventus and Club Duty Intense is. So versatility, it's also really good. Now, compliment factors. There's no doubt in my mind that these will get you a lot of compliments if, if you usually get compliments with Aventus or Club Duty Intense or any other pineapple related fragrances. These will definitely get you some compliments because one, they project really, really well. Two, they last a long, long time. And three, they just, they, they, they're sexy, okay? They just smell really, really sexy. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into the real comparison, the scent. How are these three different from each other? Let's start off with the very first one, the Pineapple Vintage Intense. Now, before all you guys comment down below, like what about the original Pineapple Vintage? Well, the original Pineapple Vintage smells very identical to this one, but this one just performs better. So I ruled that out of the competition because if it smells identical to this one, but lower in performance, we don't need that. So now for the smell of Pineapple Vintage Intense. Now I'm gonna keep this really, really simple. It's comparable to a really fruity batch of Aventus with a catch. This does not have like a lot of smoky nose, if there is any. I feel like you can catch a little bit of smokiness, but off my skin, there's barely any, if not just non-existent, smoky, darker notes. What you're getting in the base instead of those smoky dark notes is a sandalwoody patchouli. So if you're into more smokier batches, if you want some more darker notes, some manlier touch, this is really not the batch for you. I can say this straight up right now. This is a really, really bright, fruity pineapple vibe. So more for those like fun in the sun, happy surfer kind of guy. You know, it's it's not it's not dark at all. You know, if you want darker batches, wait for the next two that I'm about to talk about. But this one, super bright, comparable to the fruity batch of Aventus without the smoky notes. Now on to the Noir. And before I do that, I forgot to say one thing at the beginning of the video. Super rookie mistake. These fragrances are sent were sent to me for review, but of course, it's never ever gonna affect how I think about these fragrances at all. I value honesty to you guys because you guys are more important to me than any fragrances that I could receive for free. All right, now that we got that out of the way, back to the Noir. Now the best way to describe this scent is to imagine if there was a scale, like one side holds all the fruity notes, one side holds all the smoky notes. You know, the Pineapple Vintage Intense, like I said, has a lot of fruity notes, barely any dark notes, right? Now the Noir, on the other hand, has more darker notes and a little bit less of a fruity note. So this is definitely a more well-balanced interpretation of Aventus. So this has equally the fruitiness, equally the darkness. Actually, this one is my favorite batch. I wish I have a bottle of this instead of the Pineapple Vintage Intense because this to me smells a lot better, more well-rounded, actually more, mas more manly, more masculine, and just sexier to my nose. So this one, comparable to a more well-balanced batch of Aventus. Lastly, Noir Intense. And guys, honestly, this is probably my least favorite of the whole brand, which is sad to say because it is a new release and they're probably not gonna be too happy <laughs> when they watch this video and hear me saying this is not uh, probably the worst release from them. I just don't like it. And here's why. Now back to the scale, Pineapple Vintage Intense has a lot of pineapple, lower dark notes. Noir is balanced. This one, 
slightly higher dark notes. So as you guys can see, this one has a lot more of that smokier nose to darker nose and the fruitiness is kind of tamed, it's very toned down. But my itch with this fragrance is that the opening is just really strong and very dark. It has this really heavy birch tar note that completely put me off right away when I smell it. Now, a little plus side, that does go away really fast and what you're left with is a really more darker, more smokier interpretation of Aventus. And I'm sorry I have to say interpretation of Aventus all the time. I'm just trying to keep this the most simple as possible. As you guys know, this brand is all inspired by Aventus. So keeping this extremely simple, guys. This one is more of a smokier batch of Aventus. The fruitiness is not really there all so much. And I, I don't know, I just don't think it's well balanced. It's not balanced enough, it's too smoky, it's too dark, and I don't know, I feel like it's kind of a messy, messy, messy smell to me. At least off my skin, it doesn't smell as good as the other two that I just mentioned, so that's why this is my least favorite. But for you guys out there who's just into really, really smoky, super birchy batch of Aventus, those, you, get, you crazy folks out there, this might be the batch for you, but for me, I like a more well-balanced batch. And my Aventus, actually my Aventus bottle itself is really, really well-balanced. I think that's why I lean towards a, well, a more well-balanced batch and not um, not a super smoky, kind of messy, yeah, batch like Noir Intense. Now to answer the question, which of the three is the better pickup? It's all up to your preference. There's no better one, all up to your preference. For my preference, I like the Noir the best. And my second favorite is the Pineapple Vintage Intense. My third favorite is the Noir Intense. My least favorite, Noir Intense. But you guys can have a totally different opinion. If you guys are more of a fruity guy, you guys might like the Pineapple Vintage Intense more than the Noir or Noir Intense. If you're a smokier guy, you might like the Noir Intense. So it's really all about your personal preference. But before you decide to purchase any of these fragrances, I do highly suggest you try them out first. Now moving on to the last section of this video, guys, and arguably the most important section of the video as well, and that is, are those Pineapple Vintage fragrances, how do they compare to these two? The King and the Originator Aventus, and the most popular clone, Club de Nuit Intense. Now this one, very famous for the price is $30. It comes quite close to Aventus. Actually smells really good for a $30 fragrance with a really big uh, quality difference still between these two. You really get what you pay for, of course. You pay a higher price, you get better quality. You pay 30 bucks, you get a lower quality. But this is by no mean a bad clone. Now how do these compare to this one? Super, super easy. This one smells more high quality than this one, but not by a whole lot. Now they're both quite synthetic. Like those, that that's the problem I have with this brand that it does smell quite synthetic in comparison to the original Aventus. But this one also smells really synthetic as well. I actually don't like this fragrance all too much. Every time I wear this, I miss wearing Aventus. But when I wear these, it's, you know, it's, it's passable. You know, I can wear these, I can enjoy these a lot more than I can enjoy this one. So definitely, well, this is $30, this is $85, a $50 markup, but you're definitely getting a more high quality product. Now in comparison to Aventus, there's no competition. This blows all of these fragrances out of water, but it's supposed to do that because it is highly, just way more expensive. It's at least $150 to $200 more expensive than these fragrances. So it's supposed to be a way better, more high quality product than these, which it is. If you guys have the money, I still would recommend you get Aventus, but these are not bad fragrances either. So if you don't want to spend all too much money, these are still great choice. They still smell close to Aventus, but keep in mind they are going to smell more synthetic than this one. If you're used to wearing like Aventus decants or like have like a partial bottle of Aventus at home, these might disappoint you a little bit, but if you're more used to the Club de Eat Intense kind of smell, these will be a nice step up for sure. So lastly, the conclusion, do I recommend this brand? Do I recommend you try these fragrances, buy these fragrances? And the answer to that is yes. I do recommend you check these out, try them. If you are a person who likes smells of Aventus, anything that's fruity, birchy, pineapple, all those type of things, you need to check out this brand. At least try them. You're getting a really good quality product for under 100 bucks. It's like 85 last I checked, I think. These are not expensive fragrances. And you do get 100 ml, which is a sizable amount 
under 100 bucks and it, they smell amazing. They smell really, really good for the price. And if you're looking to step up from your usual Club to Eat Intense or you know the 30, 20 dollar clones which smells really, really synthetic, these are definitely a great, great, great step up. But I'll say this every time when I talk about an Aventus variation is that if you have enough money, just get Aventus. Honestly, it is the best it is the best pineapple fragrance out of all of these clones, out of everything at all. Aventus is still the best, but I do understand Aventus is out of a lot of people's budget. And if that is your case and you don't want a $30, $20 clone, pineapple, vintage, intense, noir, noir, intense, whichever your preference is, is the way to go. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comment section below which team you're on. Are you on Team Aventus? Are you on Team Club Duty Intense? Or if you're on Team Pineapple? You know, let me know down there so I know what you guys' preferences are. And as always, guys, stay safe, love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and bye.